Fluid leaking from your air cap or around your nozzle can be frustrating and hard to figure out. It's caused by something you may have done by accident and didn't realize. This video will show you how to repair this issue. Some examples of this issue is fluid pouring from your air cap, a fast drip, or even a slow drip coming from around the outside of your fluid nozzle. This issue is caused by a loose fluid nipple. The fluid nipple sits on top of the gun where you attach your fluid cup or disposable cup adapter. The fluid nipple is not interchangeable with other spray guns and is most commonly loosened because it is mistaken for the fluid cup. In this image, you can see a gap between the fluid nipple and the body of the gun. The fluid nipple should sit flush against the body of the gun as in this image. If your spray gun is covered in paint, you first want to clean it before proceeding to repairing your fluid nipple. This repair is done on an LPH 400. If you're having this issue with an LPH 80, you will need to first heat the fluid nipple with a heat gun to soften the factory thread locker, then use a 13 mm socket wrench to remove. If you're having this problem with a supernova, use a number 8 Allen wrench to remove your fluid nipple. For this repair, you will need a container for cleaning, paper towels, thread locker, brass brushes, and 19 mm socket wrench. You will also need gun cleaner, a microfiber towel, and vise if available. Insert your spray gun to the vise to hold securely with a microfiber towel to not damage. Then, using the 19 mm socket, remove your fluid nipple by turning counterclockwise. Once loosened enough, remove the rest of the weight by hand. Once you have your fluid nipple removed, the next step is to clean all the debris and build up off of it. Soak the part in gun cleaner, then using a brass brush, scrub all of the buildup off of the part. Brass brushes are great because they allow you to scrub a little bit more aggressively without damaging your part. Rinse and repeat as many times as are needed until the part is completely clean. Once your fluid nipple is completely clean, it's time to move on to the gun body. Soak with gun cleaner and scrub the inside until all debris and buildup is loosened. Rinse and repeat as many times as are needed. Now that the gun body is clean, it is time to reinstall the fluid nipple to the spray gun. Place your spray gun back into the vise. Then take your fluid nipple and apply thread locker to the threads. Install the fluid nipple back into the body of the gun and turn clockwise to tighten. Use your 19 mm socket wrench to tighten the rest of the way. Your repair is now complete and ready to head back into full time use. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. Please leave us any comments below on any future content you'd like to see come from us. Make sure you subscribe and also follow us across all social media platforms.